twirl going on. You can spin that ball, <laughs> right? yeah. That's how incredible. That? <laughs> Pretty cute. You know what's also incredible is how much our weather is going to change by tomorrow. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes, uh, so for some folks in a good way, other folks in a bad way, depending on what kind of weather you like. But uh, we have some heavy rain heading in as soon as tomorrow morning. So just be aware right now, your morning and your evening commutes could be very slow. At least it's Friday, but again, it could be very slow out there, so do be prepared. We are taking a live look outside LAX, which was completely fogged in last night and this morning, and it will be fogged in again tonight. Uh, looking pretty good right now. We saw plenty of clear skies, which we still have across much of the south. And uh, all that sunshine warmed us up into the 70s today. Uh, so, boy, oh boy, it was just a gorgeous day. 75 degrees downtown and temperature. Temperatures right now still into the 70s from Van Nuys to San Bernardino, but you can see where that cooler air mass is starting to filter in in Ventura County, where temperatures are now down into the 50s. And the reason is we've got this cold front that will be working its way into our area overnight tonight through tomorrow. Most of the wet weather uh, will be expected tomorrow morning, so take a look right around lunchtime. That's when we can expect that first batch of rain to move in. And it could be light to moderate, even some heavier pockets, but most areas from the coast to the valleys, about an inch of rain possibility. Mountain and foothills, you could expect about an inch and a half. And this will continue through tomorrow night. So again, rush hour in the morning and at night could be a little bit slick out there. And then after that, we've got a backside low that will be moving on through, bringing us more wet weather into Saturday. So it won't be as heavy as Friday, but still some rain and mountain snow. And then take a look at the winds. They start offshore and then they move off. They directly move out. Out of the north and east. And what will happen is those Santa Ana winds, which could be very strong this weekend, will warm us up dramatically by next week. So talk about changes day by day. Uh, but tomorrow will be the soaking day because we've got uh, quite a strong storm system and much cooler air moving in for a couple of days. And then the Santa Ana winds kick up and we're back into the 70s by Monday of next week. Back to you.